Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and we are back with our NHL 15 Be a Pro series following Rick DiPietro and the Toronto Maple Leafs. So it looks like the Leafs have finally got things under uh, control here as we've won, I think, three or four in a row. DiPietro got a win in overtime against the Vancouver Canucks last time. We finally beat that team. And uh, we're looking pretty good here. Trade deadline is up against that game against the Florida Panthers here. So this might be our last game against uh, before the trade deadline. See if the Leafs make any moves here. Might be pretty, might be a good option for the Leafs to make a move here because they are dealing with some injuries at the moment. So I think Joffrey Lupul is out again with another injury, but we are going to go here against the Colorado Avalanche who surprisingly have a really, really bad record. I'm pretty surprised by that. Guys like, with guys like Matt Duchesne, Gabriel Landis, Gog, O'Reilly, and Nathan McKinnon. Eric Johnson on defense too. You would think that this team would be decent, have a decent record, but surprisingly not the case. Their depth must really be struggling. I would think those four guys I just mentioned have probably the highest point totals on their team. But other than that, they must be really, really struggling elsewhere, like everywhere else. You know, the goaltending could be an issue too. Varlamov, I don't know. I think in this uh, version of our game, I think Varlamov was traded pretty early on in this uh, in this whole like in this whole be a pro like simulation, I guess you could say. But we're on the road here, continuing this long road trip that I believe the Maple Leafs are on, taking on like Western Conference teams. As we're going to be going up against the Colorado Avalanche, so that's good here. Want to get our team some points, but it's not that big of a deal if we give uh, Western Conference teams points. Definitely want to try to get a win here, though. In the Pepsi Center with that huge-ass Jumbotron. Look how big that thing is. Unreal. Have we played against Colorado before? I think we have. But whatever case. Yeah, Matt Duchesne's having a good year. He's got 63 points. It's probably right around what Kessel has, point total-wise. But, yeah, other than that, I guess everybody else must be really struggling for some points on that team. Yeah, that's probably another reason Calvin Bacard having not having a good year. 14, 22, and 1, 2.56, 0. 0.919 save percentage, three shutouts. Save, the save percentage is pretty good, but the goals against average, well, the goals against average ain't bad. The record, though, is pretty brutal. All right, and there's DiPietro, 8, 4, and 2, 2.31, 0. 0.884, save percentage, and one shutout for Dippy on the year. Pretty good stats for a backup, not going to lie. But here we are in the Pepsi Center. Let's get it going here. Leafs against the uh, Avs. All right, let's continue up our good streak here. Let's see if we can carry this Leafs team on a nice long winning streak. Would be very nice for the Leafs to get here. All right, if we can just get by their first line, as the first line is probably their first line, probably their second line is the only line I'm worried about because I'm probably assuming Ryan O'Reilly, Duchesne, and uh, Landeskog are their first, and then McKinnon will probably be centering the second. So. As long as we can get by their first two lines, you know, I shouldn't. we shouldn't have a, a problem with this team as long as our first line back checks. Even with the second line with uh, Bozak and uh, Booth, Clarkson still has a decent overall in this game. Should be fine. All right, Kessel, nice feed over to Gardner. Uh, Jake, do something with it. There you go, back to Kessel. Kessel want to dump it in. There you go, nice play. Round for JVR. And front up, JVR up. Tries to squeeze on a short side on uh, Picard, but he will... Block it away. O'Reilly. He'll give it over to Landeskog. Here we Landeskog. Oh, Jesus, man. Matt Duchesne takes a big slap shot on that, but it gets blocked away by a Maple Leaf defense, and it goes all the way down the ice. Leafs though will be able to get a change. And Landeskog has it over to Duchesne. Matt Duchesne breaking out some dangs, but a nice play there by Fenuff to knock him off the puck. And Bozak will gain control of it. Abs will go for a line change. And David Booth now. Second line. Time for David Booth. Tyler Bozak using that speed. Getting in there. There you go. As Bozak or Clarkson. One of you guys. Nah, I couldn't get it. All right. John Mitchell over to Jamie McGinn. Jamie McGinn looking for an inlet. There he goes. Mitchell. Oh, wow, man. Nice hard pass there by Mitchell. Looking for McKinnon. Holden. Nice, draw, nice hit there for David Booth. And... Clarkson, he gets driven off by Holt by uh, Tyson Barry, and he will enter there. Nathan McKinnon with a deke there. Oh, big shot! Oh, triple shot there from Nathan McKinnon, possibly, maybe even a double shot up the wide. McKinnon out to the back there, and Jamie McGinn gets a tip on it, and it's a goal. <sighs> 
It's going to be one of those games where the depth of the freaking avalanche is just going to kill me here. Jay McGinn got a tip, I believe, off of that point shot by Nick Holden. Yeah, that changes directions very, very fiercely, and I was well, well, well out of position there. Uh, yeah, I kind of thought it was going to go that way, that Nick Holden shot, but McGinn deflected it and then blocked off. I'm pretty sure it was scored either way. But Holden and McKinnon, see, like the first two lines, I'm not a scared. I'm not scared of the first two lines for the Avs. It's just every like, I mean, it's everything else for the Avs. I'm not scared of the first two lines. I am scared of. Even though McKinnon, McKinnon's like a 90 overall. Still, he just makes that first line better up. Kadri, is that Bissonnette? I think that's Paul Bissonnette on the on the third line for the Avalanche. Wow, interesting. All right, Kessel, you gotta get rid of it. Here you go over to, over to Polak, Roman Polak. Pollock uh, tries to feed Kessel, but it goes over to the wing. Uh, Big Rass. Big Rass. Uh, Bleakley, Connor Bleakley over to... Yep, that's Paul Bissonnette. Oh, my God. Paul Biznasty over to Bleakley. Bleakley he's going to take a shot. Pollock blocks in the way of that, though, and that's going to be icing, unfortunately. That was a little touch-up. Man, Paul Bissonnette playing for the Avalanche. Interesting. So the Avs are 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. See the centerman? Yeah, he's the centerman. Yeah, Biz Nasty shouldn't have good face-offs, I would think. All right, Levo over to Pollock, up to Fratton. Uh, Fratton uh, tries to feed Santorelli in there. Siemens will hold it, and all the way over to Belvier. Belvier and Levo Holland up to Fratton again. Fratton turns back and just dumps it in, I guess, going for a change. Siemens will dump it in. That might be a penalty on the Leafs. Uh, no, Levo. Uh, Holland. Uh, Pollock uh, takes a shot. Holland keeps it in, though. Pol Pollock, second chance. Uh, nope. Around the back of the net for Santorelli. Santorelli out in front again. And Le Leafs got to get a shot on that here. As I'll do it for the first period, unfortunately. So Leafs did not get as many shots in that period. One shot and two shots. All right, so three shots total. All right, I'm not even going to look at the stats because stats don't mean anything when you're taking three shots in the period. All right, so second period here. Leafs, you got to get some shots on net here. A team like a struggling Avalanche team like this, even though their first two lines are very good, you got to get some shots on net here. Against a goaltender who's not doing well. Uh, there you go, Kessel. Nice shot. I don't know if that went off the post, that off his glove. But there you go. Get some shots on net. All right, O'Reilly. That should have been me. That's my fault. There's Landis Gog trying for a short side shot there. Blocked off. All the way up to Kessel. Nice pass up the middle of the Kadri. Got three abs right there in the center. And Siemens will take Kadri's puck right off him. And he'll feed right up, over, oh, yeah, right up over to Duchesne. Nice hit, though, by Gardner. Knock him off. There you go. Kadri waiting for Kessel to get back on sides, but he can't. It's being held on sides there. All right, Kessel's getting it back. Kessel. Big slap shot there in the slot there from Phil Kessel. Nice glove save, though, by Picard, and he'll hold on. I think we did play Picard before. Yeah, we did play the Avalanche once. Because remember, we had like a really good duel with uh, Calvin Picard before. Picard had a very good game, even though his stats weren't good. Oh, Bozo. Ooh, nice play there. Nice little feed there from the Leafs. That was a nice little play. I like that. Have not had that in a while. Have not seen him play like that in a while since John Tavares. All right. Let's go, Leafs. There you go. Bozak wins it. Uh, Franzen. Bozak again. Ooh, just shrugs that one off. Clarkson gets it back. Clarkson. Oh, nice shot there, but blocked off. Rebound was there. Uh, Clarkson gains that. Back to the point to Franzen. Over to Percy. Clarkson still has it. Clarkson over to Franzen. Takes a shot. Glove saved, though, by Picard. He dishes it out, though. Booth is right there. Back to Franzen. Takes another shot. That might have got deflected a bit, but... And McKinnon holds it there. Get in there, Booth. Get in there, David. There you go. Nice four check by the second line. Uh, Clarkson. He'll wrap it around. Booth cuts it off out in front. Oh, a nice shot there by Bozak, but blocked off by Picard again. Oh, another four check there. Bozak still has it, and Barry will finally control it. As Jane McGinn will get it over to Mitchell, up to McKinnon. All right, there you go. Nice hit. Nice hit there, Jake. Knocking Nathan McKinnon off the puck. Kadri, nice feed up to JBR. JVR and Kessel switch the wings. Oh, JVR is behind them. Oh, man. Nice play there from JVR. I thought that might have been a nice little snipe there. But Calvin Picard flashes the leather and robs JVR of a goal. All right. Santorelli wins the faceoff again. Fanuff over to Fratton. Leafs are doing a nice job forechecking in this period. I like it. Uh, That one's going to go out of the zone. 
All right, Finuff gets it back though, and quickly uh, Levo couldn't get there in time though. Eric Johnson, Eric Johnson over to Bleakley. Watch it there, Santorelli. There you go, Bissonnette, and he's knocked off the puck by Matt Fratton. Fratton, Santorelli shot. Ah, oh, Fratton couldn't get there in time for the rebound. Mutre, Nick Mutre, and he'll give this over to Biz Nasty with a little bit of room to work here. Biz Nasty back to Johnson. Oh, he was looking for a shot there from Biz Nasty. Siemens tied up. Over to Bleakley, uh, shot there. Johnson, back to Bissonnette again. Gets blocked off. Mutre, back to Bissonnette. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Good kick save there by DiPietro. I thought I was well at position. I thought I was hugging that post, that side way too much. All right, Fanuff, do something with it. Uh, Fanuff, carry in. There you go, Dion. All right, uh, all right. That works. Dion, you lost your stick, but you shouldn't be for checking that much into the zone anyway, but still. All right, uh, Duchesne's going to knock that into the zone. Landeskog's right there. And Gabriel Landeskog scores. Fanuff, why are you behind me? I, I really don't know what, De what, what Dion's problem is. Dion's going into the zone, forechecking way too much, and then he's stuck behind me as I try to make that save. Don't get it. Do not get it. Don't get what's wrong with Fanuff. Like, look at this. Fanuff, why, like, why are you there? Why are you there? You should be covering the other side right there for where Landeskog is coming from. Like, you shouldn't be on that side covering the guy right there. If he cover, if he goes for a cross-crease shot, like, cross-crease attempt, I can cover that. But you need to be on the other side to make sure Landeskog doesn't get a shot like that. And it's just those wraparounds from behind the net that really get me. And uh, like I said, it's the first, those two guys that I was worried about, like, Two out of the four guys that have, uh, I was worried about have scored goals on me in this game. Well, not really. Uh, Jane McGinn got a goal, but still. It's their first two lines that are getting them goals. It's 2 nothing lead for the Avs, and I mean, Kevin Picard is kind of stoning them right now at the moment. Hopefully we're done giving up goals for this game, but it's going to be a gonna be a big third period here for the Leafs if they're going to tie this game up at least, but another big save there for them. Card on JVR, so seven seconds left. They've made 12 saves. He's made 12 saves, so. All right. Holden gives it up to the, over to Waked. Waked is probably going to take a shot here. Yeah, he takes a shot. Shrugged off by DiPietro, and that'll do it for the second. So, yeah, I have seven shots only to 12. We've given up two. Not good. Not very good at all. We're going to need a big third period comeback here, boys. You guys are gonna need to step up your game big time here. All right, JVR takes the puck over to Kadri. Awesome Kadri makes an unnecessary deke into three Colorado Avalanche defensemen that he shouldn't have been doing, and the Abs will get it. Landis Scott going back to the ice lob. He's doing some uh, enough. He gets taken off the boards again. Loses his stick again for the second time. And Landis Gognell goes up the ice with Duchesne. Matt Duchesne doing some nasty moves there. Wow, that was almost really freaking good. Nope, nope, Matt Duchesne, I'm not letting you go. I'm just keeping you behind there. JVR, toe drags, uh, he still gets it back. That was almost nasty that Matt Duchesne almost did that to me. Like, he almost snuck it in short side again. All right, Siemens over to Landis Gog. Up, oh, Kessel gets it back, Kadri. Up, uh, enough, ah, I couldn't keep it on sides. 14.36 left. Toronto down by two here. Not looking good for the Leafs. Right, David Booth, uh, Clarkson. Clarkson back to Gardner. Back to Booth. Back to Gardner. Over to Phaneuf. Out in front. Uh, Dion, you need to take a shot there, man. You had nobody covering you, and you had traffic in front of freaking Picard. You need to take a shot there. Nice forecheck, Bozak. Clarkson. Back to Gardner. Uh, Jake couldn't get a shot off him again. Was in his way. As McGinn will hold it back to Holden. As Holden goes back behind his net. Yeah, the Avs are just playing keep away now with the puck, basically. They uh, they have no method of going for offense here. They have no means of going for offense. Uh, Bozak, nice steal. Oh, tries for a short side shot. That might have been either shrugged off or hit the post, one or the other. Booth out in front. Uh, big shot there from the point from Gardner. And Picard with the save again. Clarkson has it. Clarkson still has it. Oh, trying to bank it off the back of him, but... He holds it between the post and himself. It's still 2 0 lead. At least the Leafs are doing their job here. They're putting shots on that. Can't argue. Big grass up. Oh, Franzen keeps that in. Franzen over to JVR. Out in front to Kessel, but that gets blocked by Westland. And Paul Biznasty over to Bleakley. Connor Bleakley 
out in front of Mutre and uh, save there from DiPietro, I guess. All right, JVR cuts to the middle, back to Kessel, uh, in front there, a little bit too much traffic. And Picard will hold on for a face-off again. 721 left. Like, I can't blame the Leafs. They're doing their job. They're putting shots on that. But this guy right here, guy Mr. Not Good Record, is stoning the Leafs so far. Stoned them last time we played this guy, and uh, he's doing it yet again. They have taken no shots in this period. The Avalanche do not see any means to take any shots in this game. All right, there's a shot by Santorelli, but it was blocked off. Belvier. Fratton takes control of it. Uh, Fratton, Belvier takes it over again. And Gagne. Uh, Simone Gagne, Sam Gagne. One of the two Gagne's. Uh, Waked over to Belvier. Tries for... Oh, shit. Nice grab, Di Pietro. Good lord. I pressed Y as soon... I, like, as soon as I saw it trickling behind me, I, I pressed that Y button like it was nobody's business. That just freaking almost happened. All right, Fratton. There you go, Santorelli. Oh, my God. Santorelli, you have to take a shot there. Levo up. Fratton, get around them. There you go, Matt. There you go. Fratton's actually had a pretty decent game, I'm not going to lie. And uh, Fratton gets behind the defense off of a kind of broken down play. Leafs uh, come with him one now with 3.49 still left to play in this game. Matt Fratton from uh, Josh Levo. That was a nice uh, little forecheck there from Levo. Blocked the pass from the defenseman. Fratton gets behind him. Scores. All right, so it's a 2-1 to one game with 3.49 left to go here. We still have a chance. They still got a chance here, but the top line's out now. Landis Gog Duchesne. We got to hopefully outlast these guys. Oh, my God, Dippy. You need to grab that. I just don't know why he doesn't grab it. It's right there. All right, Polak, you need to get this puck out. Polak. Oh, shit. Landis Gog. Oh, fuck me. Fuck you, Roman Polak. Fuck you. You want to know why we ha didn't have a chance to win that game? That's because of you. You blew that game. You blew that. Roman Pollock, you are the fault for that loss. You were the fault for this loss. You turned that puck over when it didn't need to be turned over. Oh, my God. Siemens to Duchesne. That and they're just allowing them to get behind our net like that. Oh, my God. Almost another turnover. Uh, I, I think Babcock's going to pull me here, but I really don't want to leave my net. Delay penalty against them. Oh, JVR. Uh, and, of course, goaltender interference. Why not, ref? Why not? Sucking the wang of the fucking abs right here. He's sucking Joe Sackick's ass right now. Ju sucking Joe Sackick's ass. Uh, empty net. Sure, I guess. It's four on four hockey. I might as well. No, I don't. I regret every decision of that. Okay, that should be a penalty if I've ever seen it. I got knocked down on my ass. And it goes offside as well. I get to the bench at least. Oh, my God. I blame Roman Pollock for this loss. We might have had a chance to tie it. We actually did have a chance to tie it. Look at the shots. 21-9. to nine. Brutal game. Brutal game where Calvin Picard stands on his head yet again while we're playing him. And uh, the Avs take nine shots. We stop, we stop six. Six and nine. McKinnon hits the post on the empty net. So the computer is not hitting. Being a, pff, that's such... Oh, man, the CPUs. I love it the way they play sometimes, man. It's pretty damn funny. And Smith takes a shot on Picard. And that's it. Abs win. Abs will win 3-1. to one. Brutal game. And that's, the, that's one of the types of games that you will face in this game, where the computer just doesn't take shots. They take less than double-digit shots in the whole game, and you'll just screw up, like, Three times, two or three times, and it'll cost you the entire game. It's stupid, man. They gotta take more shots on that. Leafs did everything in their power that game. I'm not gonna deny them that. They took 21 shots on that. Calvin Bacar just stood on his head. All right. Well, we unfortunately lose that game. We dropped to eight, five, and two, and uh, the trade deadline is upon us. Now, if the Leafs were smart here, we would make a trade because. Uh, we're really, really injury riddled right now, and I think we really need to get some get some help on this team. Coming up to this game against Florida, let's see what happens here. Play next game. We're not going to play the game. Trade, trade deadline is here. Any trades going to be made? Let's see. Uh, Dion Phaneuf is out for a while with injury, and no trades were made. Well, maybe we'll simulate a day. 
We'll see. Did anybody make any trades? Did we make any trades? We beat Florida there that game, though. Uh, no, we did not make any trades, and we're going to be going up against the LA Kings. So we're opting to not make any trades at the trade deadline. We're going to run with the team we have right now. I actually did want to do something, too. I do want to make a, like, a stats update since this video was actually pretty short. Let's make it stats, like it's a little stats update, see where we are. So we are in first place in our division, and we are 62 points, which is two less games than the Tampa Bay Lightning have played, and four less games than the Boston Bruins have played. So we're in very good shape right now. We have four games in hand on the Boston Bruins, and we're tied with them for the top spot in our division, which is very nice to see. So that's that. What's the uh, wild card looking like? Uh, Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Washington. Philly is god awful. Uh, so what's the wild card? So it's 82, 77, 77, 72. Looks like it's at 73 points for the wild card being held right now by the Montreal Canadiens. So it uh, looks like five teams in our division might actually go to the uh, playoffs this year. So Florida, uh, yep. But still, we're four games in hand, which is good to see. We're top in our division, which is nice, and we are we're the fourth best team in the NHL point-wise, so that's pretty good as well. We still have a lot less games played, too. All right, so goals four, we're at 2.8, which is good for uh, down there, up up there, I should say. Goals against, uh, our goals against isn't bad. It's, uh, it's about the same place where our goals four is at. Power play percentage is at, uh, power play is not that great. Uh, it's a little bit off the top, a little bit off the top, and then penalty kill is at, I think it was at 83, if I read that right. Penalty kill is at 83.4, yeah, so we're near, like, the bottom, like, top 10 teens of the, in the league, which is not terrible. Uh, home, we're 17, 10, and 3. Away, we are 19, 10, and 3, so we're a good team away. Last 10, though, we're 4, 5, and 1, so we're not playing well. Good record still, but we're not playing well. All right, so let's take a little bit of let's take a little peek at the stats right now. See how this team is doing stat-wise. See how we are going so far through the year. All right, so Phil Kessel's on place to be a point-of-game player, which is good to see. 61 points in 62 games. He's got 33 goals, which is good to see. Uh, Nazem Kadri 53, JVR with 49, Tyler Bozak has 35, Lupul with 30, Santorelli has 25, Clarkson 24, Booth with 20. Fratton, 13 points in 35 games. That's actually not bad for a Fratton. Komarov has 9. Uh, Josh Lievo, or Levo has 8. Holland has 6 in the games that he's played. Biggs has 5. Gautier has 2. Smith does have a goal in his 6 games. And that's it for the offense. And defense, Gardner. Very good year for Jake Gardner, man. 34 points in uh, 62 games so far for Jake. Not bad. Uh, he's 86 overall. That's good to see. Uh, Dion Phaneuf, he's got 27. Cody Franzen has 25. Morgan Riley has 23, but he's still out with that injury. Stuart Percy has 10, and Roman Pollock has 5. And then we look at the goaltender stats here. Jonathan Bernay played 49 games so far, 29, 15, and 1. So he's actually doing a pretty decent job there as a starter. 2.53, 2.35 for DiPietro, 8 and 5 and 2. Save percentage of 0 0.913, 0.887. Four shutouts and one shutout for... DiPietro, we do have two penalty minutes, which is funny to see, and uh, draft position, yeah, we get, we get the deal. Alright, so, there's the stats so far for the Toronto Maple Leafs at the trade deadline. But we're going up against the LA Kings. Last time we played the Kings, they were one of the best teams in the league, but this year they are still a pretty decent team. So, we are at home against LA, so that's good, I guess, and uh, we'll be playing the Kings next up. So, see if we can bounce back from that loss there. It was a brutal loss, but nothing we could really do about it. And we'll see if we can bounce back. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. I'll see you guys next time.